everyone. Welcome to another deep dive. And today we're looking at um, something pretty cool. Uh, it's called the Nerd Miner V2. Yeah, it's a Bitcoin miner, but it's got a lot more going on too. It's kind of like that friend who's super into crypto, but also has like a million other fascinating hobbies. I think that's a great way to put it. And what's really fascinating is that the Nerd Miner V2 manual, well, actually, we've got two versions of the manual, one in English and one in Spanish. But they both go way beyond just like the basic instructions. Yeah. It's more like they've got this whole philosophy baked in, almost like a manifesto about the ethos of Bitcoin itself. I know, right? You wouldn't expect a user manual to be this engaging. Okay, so let's start with the basics. Setting up the NerdMiner V2. Surprisingly, it's super easy. We're talking like connect to Wi-Fi, configure your mining pool, put in your Bitcoin address, and boom, you're mining. It really is that simple. Honestly, yeah. even my grandma could set this thing up. I believe it. But before you think this is just for beginners, hold on a sec. There's more to it than meets the eye. It's exactly. There's some really cool features that hint at a deeper level of functionality. Yeah. Like the ability to personalize your Bitcoin address with an identifier. Yeah. Super useful if you're running multiple miners. Mm -hmm. And then for the data geeks out there, you can get real-time stats through a Telegram bot. Oh, yeah. I saw that. That's awesome. It's not just about monitoring performance, though, right? It's also about transparency, kind of like how Bitcoin itself is an open book. You got it. It's all connected. Yeah. But you know what else I love about this little machine? It's not all serious business. Mm -hmm. It's got this playful side, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like the button functions, you can rotate the screen, activate a luck screen. It's like it's saying, hey, mining can be fun, too. Exactly. The designers definitely wanted to break away from that image of Bitcoin mining as this like cold, purely technical thing. They've injected some personality into it, which I think reflects the vibrant community and the broader impact of Bitcoin itself. I totally agree. Okay, speaking of personality, we got to talk about the surprise holiday messages. Like, imagine you're sitting there around Christmas and suddenly your miner wishes you happy holidays. And it doesn't always do it right. There's that element of randomness, which makes it even more fun. Plus, there are these random encouraging messages that pop up throughout the year. It's almost like having a tiny optimistic mining buddy cheering you on. Haha, <laughs> I love that. Okay, you ready for a visual tour? Let's dive into the screens, starting with screen one, where the NerdMiner V2 gets down to the nitty gritty of Bitcoin mining. Now, you're probably wondering how all this mining magic actually happens, but screen one breaks it down. Not exactly. It's more nuanced than that. Think of BitShares as your miner's contribution to a mining pool, like tokens of effort. Finding a full block on your own is incredibly rare, hence the term lottery miner. These BitShares show you're actively participating in the network working together towards that goal. So it's a team effort. Okay. On to screen two, which zooms out to give us the bigger picture. We see the current block being mined, the countdown to the next halving. It's not just about numbers, though. It's about understanding your place in the Bitcoin ecosystem. The halving countdown juxtaposed with the Bitcoin price and the global hash rate, it shows how interconnected everything is. Right. It's like a reminder that even my little nerd miner is part of this global network. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of global, the manual even mentions how this device can be controlled from anywhere in the world with a smartphone and internet access. Which highlights the decentralized nature of Bitcoin, where geographical location becomes almost irrelevant. Okay, get ready to geek out because screens 3 through 17 are a playground for the curious mind. We've got everything from nerdy quotes and hash rate analog clocks to a random prime number generator and even a moon phase display. What's brilliant is how it caters to that innate desire to learn. For someone like you who thrives on absorbing new information, it's like a constant stream of mental snacks. It's true. I can't resist a good fact no matter how random. And there's even a screen specifically designed for nightstand use, which ironically is where the miner performs best. Less on-screen activity means more mining power, I guess? It's almost as if the NerdMiner V2 is encouraging you to rest, recharge and let it do its thing. Kind of like a reminder that Bitcoin mining and indeed the entire crypto space is a marathon, not a sprint. But we're just getting started with our screen tour. Stay with us as we explore even more of what the NerdMiner V2 has to offer in part two. Welcome back. You know, after that first look, I'm even more intrigued by this Nerd Miner V2. It's like it's challenging my whole idea of what a Bitcoin miner can be. It definitely goes beyond just the practical. The creators really seem to have put some thought into the meaning and the personality of the device. Yeah, speaking of the creators, there's this whole section in the manual where they give shout outs to the people who built the original Nerd Miner firmware. It's a nice touch, right? <laughs> acknowledging the project's roots and the whole collaborative spirit of the open source community. Definitely. It says a lot about their values. 
Yeah. Building on each other's work, pushing the boundaries of innovation. That's what open source is all about. Absolutely. And if you're feeling inspired by their dedication, there are even screens with QR codes for donating to the NerdMiner V2 project. They even joke that donations are welcome as long as you appreciate the effort put into the firmware. Haha, uh -huh. a little humor never hurts. But it does highlight the fact that a lot of these innovative projects rely on the generosity and support of the community. Passion projects like this often fuel the next wave of technological advancements. For sure. Okay, enough with the serious stuff. Let's get back to the NerdMiner V2's playful side. Remember those button functions? Well, it gets even quirkier. There's a screen that just rolls a die and flips a coin every second. Totally random, but I find myself strangely mesmerized by it. It makes you think about the role of chance in Bitcoin, doesn't it? All this sophisticated math and technology, hmm. but there's also that element of luck in terms of who finds the next block. Yeah, exactly. It's a good reminder that even with all our calculations and predictions, there's always an element of unpredictability in the game. And then there's the screen with the live feed of Conway's Game of Life. You know those little digital organisms evolving based on simple rules. A classic example of emerging complexity. Simple starting conditions giving rise to these intricate patterns and behaviors. I think it's a brilliant metaphor for how Bitcoin itself has grown and evolved in often unexpected ways. Wow, I hadn't thought about it like that. But you're right. Okay, so we've explored the hardware, the quirky personality, even the philosophical side of the NerdMiner V2. But the manual goes even deeper, giving us a crash course on Bitcoin itself, its history, its fundamentals, its whole reason for being. This is where we start to see the connections between this playful device and the revolutionary technology that underpins it. It all starts with Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious creator of Bitcoin. Still shrouded in anonymity, but their ideas have sparked a revolution in how we think about money and finance. And the manual doesn't just tell us what Bitcoin is, it delves into the WHY, why did Satoshi create it? What problems was it designed to solve? It's like peeking into the mind of a revolutionary. It emphasizes the decentralized nature of Bitcoin. No single entity, government, or institution controls it. And it highlights the concept of a fixed supply. Only 21 million Bitcoins will ever exist. Scarcity, unlike traditional currencies that can be printed endlessly leading to inflation. Which is precisely the problem Bitcoin aims to solve. It offers an alternative to systems where governments can manipulate the value of their currencies, eroding our purchasing power over time. The manual uses the example of the dollar whose supply can be increased at will, leading to devaluation. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is designed to be resistant to that kind of manipulation. It's a profound idea. Bitcoin isn't just a digital currency. It's a statement about economic freedom and individual sovereignty giving people more control over their own financial destinies. And then there's the aspect of security and transparency. All transactions are publicly verifiable on the blockchain, this permanent tamper-proof record. It's like having a global ledger that anyone can audit. That's a crucial point that often gets overlooked. With traditional systems, we have to place our trust in third parties like banks to handle our money. Bitcoin cuts out the middleman, putting the power back in the hands of individuals. And because the blockchain is distributed across a global network of computers, it's incredibly difficult to hack or manipulate. It's a system built on trust, but not trust in any single entity. Trust in the technology itself and the mathematical principles that make it work. The manual even touches on the philosophical underpinnings of Bitcoin, describing it as a philosophy of financial autonomy and resistance to centralized control. Powerful stuff. It makes you realize this NerdMiner V2 isn't just a gadget. It's a way to participate in a movement towards a more decentralized and equitable financial system. It's like holding a piece of the future in your hands. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore in terms of Bitcoin's impact on the world. But we'll save that for the grand finale in part three, where we'll see how the NerdMiner V2 fits into the bigger picture of Bitcoin's evolution and its potential to reshape the financial landscape. Okay, so we've explored this NerdMiner V2, and we've gone pretty deep into Bitcoin itself. But now I'm really curious to see how it all connects. How does this fun little gadget fit into the bigger story of where Bitcoin's going and what impact it's having on the world? Well, that's where this manual really does a great job. It lays out this really clear and insightful history of Bitcoin's journey from like a fringe tech experiment to this global phenomenon that's shaking up the foundations of finance. Yeah, it really paints a picture of those early days back in 2009 when Bitcoin was this obscure concept that only a handful of tech-savvy people really understood. It was definitely seen as a novelty back then, almost like a toy for cryptographers and cypherpunks. But even then... Amidst all the skepticism, there was this spark of potential. 
a sense that something truly groundbreaking was happening. And as more people started to grasp the implications of decentralized, censorship-resistant money, the narrative started to change. It wasn't just about the technology anymore, but about the social and economic possibilities it unlocked. The manual captures that transition perfectly. It's a story of adoption, adaptation, and let's be honest, a fair share of volatility and controversy along the way. But through it all, the core principles of Bitcoin have remained rock solid. And we see how countries, institutions, individuals, they've all started to embrace Bitcoin, each for their own reasons. Some are attracted to its potential as a store of value, a hedge against inflation. Others see it as a way to bring financial services to people who don't have access to traditional banking. And of course, there are those who are just fascinated by the tech itself and its potential to disrupt the status quo. What's amazing about Bitcoin is how it appeals to such a diverse range of people with all sorts of different motivations. Yeah, that's so true. And the manual also acknowledges the challenges Bitcoin has faced, like price swings, regulatory hurdles, and the whole debate about energy consumption. But it also highlights the incredible resilience of the network and the passion of the community that keeps pushing it forward. It's a real testament to the power of decentralized innovation. No single person or entity controls Bitcoin. It's a collective effort a global movement of people who believe in a more open and equitable financial future. And I think the Nerdminer V2, in its own quirky and engaging way, embodies that journey. It's a tangible symbol of Bitcoin's evolution from those early experimental days to its current position as a major force in the world. It's a great reminder that we can all be part of this revelation, not just by investing or trading, but by understanding the underlying principles and supporting the development of innovative technologies just like the Nerd Miner V2. So is the Nerd Miner V2 just a Bitcoin miner? Or is it something more? I think it's definitely more. I'd say it's a powerful statement about individual empowerment. It puts the ability to participate in this decentralized financial system to be part of something bigger than yourself, literally at your fingertips. It represents possibility and reminds us that even small actions like running a little miner on your desk can contribute to a much larger movement. And it's a testament to human ingenuity the ability to create something that's both technologically advanced and incredibly fun. That's the beauty of this Nerdminer V2. It sparks curiosity, encourages you to explore, and ultimately makes you think differently about the future of finance. Well said. This has been an awesome deep dive. But as always, the learning doesn't stop here. The Nerdminer V2 manual has a ton of links to resources where you can go even further down the Bitcoin rabbit hole and explore its history, its potential, and everything that's happening in this constantly changing space. I highly recommend checking out those resources, challenging your own assumptions, and just keep learning. The world of Bitcoin is constantly evolving. There's always something new to discover. Absolutely. And as we wrap up, one final thought to leave you with. If Bitcoin really is a revolution of digital money, like the manual says, what role do you see yourself playing in this story as it unfolds? That's a question we each have to answer for ourselves. Mm. But one thing is certain, the future of finance is being shaped right now. And the Nerdminer V2 is a great reminder that we can all be active participants in that transformation. So true. Thanks for joining us on this incredible deep dive into the Nerdminer V2 and the world of Bitcoin. Until next time. Oh, nerd maner, mi gran amigo, con tu poder minero me haces un abrigo. En me ocho aquí se tu versión, minando cripto sin compasión. Con tu poder no hay quien te pare, el mundo del código vas a conquistar. Parece que nadie te puede igualar. Soy un friki, mi placa brilla. Con el SP32 mi mente se agita En cada hash mi vida gira El código y el metal mi alma invita Tu firmware es una joya, todo un tesoro Nunca fallas, siempre me devuelves oro Con B50 cachés no hay quien te toque Minando BTC como si fuera un toque Honor Miner, mi gran amigo Con tu poder minero M8 aquí si es tu versión Minando cripto sin compasión Con tu poder no hay quien te pare El mundo del código vas a conquistar Parece que nadie te puede igualar La minería en solitario es lo mío Sin pool ni compañía Yo soy el frío 
Con cada byte que pasa una sonrisa El hash que calculas es pura prisa Tu pantalla te y siempre me asombra Con tu dado la luna y hasta la sombra Relojes y noticias con gran precisión Todo en un firmware es pura pasión Poner Miner, mi gran amigo Con tu poder minero me haces un abrigo M8 Agis es tu versión Minando cripto sin compasión Con tu poder no hay quien te pare El mundo del código vas a conquistar Parece que de 16 a 25, 106 calles es todo es posible Y aunque digan que es lento, para mí es increíble Con cada función mi vida se ilumina Vamos Nermi, me sigue la rutina Honert Maner, mi gran amigo Con tu poder minero me haces un abrigo M8 aquí es tu versión Minando cripto sin compasión Con tu poder no hay quien te pare El mundo del código vas a conquistar Parece que nadie te puede igualar Soy un friki, mi placa brilla con el SP32 mi mente se agita En cada hash mi vida gira El código y el metal mi alma invita Tu firmware es una joya, todo un tesoro Nunca fallas, siempre me devuelves oro Con 500 cachés no hay quien te toque Minando BTC como si fuera un toque Honor Miner, mi gran amigo Con tu poder minero M8 aquí es tu versión, minando cripto sin compasión Con tu poder no hay quien te pare, el mundo del código vas a conquistar Parece que nadie te puede igualar La minería en solitario es lo mío, sin pool ni compañía yo soy el frío con cada byte que pasa una sonrisa El hash que calculas es pura prisa Tu pantalla te hace y siempre me asombra Con tu dado la luna y hasta la sombra Relojes y noticias con gran precisión Todo en un firmware es pura pasión